Okay, welcome to a tutorial on how to create a user registration form and how to register a user into your MySQL database. Now, one word of warning before you start re watching this tutorial, I suggest you check out my user login tutorial. Um, I'm going to post a link, it should be up on the uh, video now. And I suggest you check this out before. Now, the reason that I've created a user login before I've created registration it's a lot easier I find to do the user uh, login process before I do the registration process because once I know that I've got the login process right and I've got all the fields in the database that I need then I can start my registration process I just find it a lot easier to do it this way because then you know what you're registering into your database okay so to start with in the first part we're going to create our form and we're going to check for the existence of what's been typed in now a couple of sort of uh, pre-warnings I'm using my from my existing tutorial uh, like I said check it out uh, the login session folder uh, which has got oh no that's uh, yeah well basically this is it um, what I've got is I've got my login session and all my files in there but I'm gonna create a new folder um, a new file sorry let's just some tags in there I'm gonna create this inside my login session uh, folder with the index.php which is the main page you just saw login logout and the member page um, if if users are logged in and I'm going to save this as register.php uh, as this is sort of a follow-on from this tutorial um, I'm creating a user registration form so the user can register before they decide to log in okay so um, I've created my register.php um, I'm also going to open my index file and I'm going to create a link uh, underneath the form um, and this is going to be a, just a link to that register page and I'm just going to say here register okay uh, so what we've got here then is a link saying register which goes to our page that we've got nothing in at the moment so uh, just following on from this last from the last tutorial where we could log in um, I'm just basically creating a link to a page that we can register before we do this because before we were just typing uh, data into our database now if I just open up a new window I'm going to go across to PHP my admin and this is the uh, table I used on my no this, sorry this is the database I used it's PHP login and this is my users table uh, you can see that I've added an extra field called name and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add an extra another field um, called um, date uh, just at the end of this so at the end of table and that's going to be called date and it's going to be in date format so where is it mm. date 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 yeah, there is. So before, um, just before you get confused about what this date is going to be, it's going to be the current date, so the date that the user's registered, and we'll just go and save that out. So from the last tutorial um, on the user login, we just had ID, username, and password, but now I've added a name, so that's going to be the user's name. I'm going to add the date, which should be the date that they registered. So let's browse in here. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, values in already what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these because I'm registering my users so I'm going to start off with a clean database assuming oh, assuming that I've got no users at all and I've got my link here to my register page and here's my register page now I'm going to walk through a bit of an HTML tutorial and tell you how to create this page uh, we're going to create a form first of all and this is going to be a self submitting form so it's going to submit to back to register.php and we're going to create a table and inside this we're going to have a, a row here and then we're going to have two columns so two TD blocks here and the first one is going to have your um, say your full name and you can split this up into first name and surname I'll leave that up to you to do but just for speed I'm going to do this this way and in our, in our second column here I've got um, my input type is text and my name equals full name so you can see at the moment um, if you're confused about this I'm going to go back to my original page click on register and you can see that I've got this is one column here split down here and this is another column with, a, with this um, 
input box in. And I'm also going to go up here and inside PHP, I'm going to echo out a header. And I'll explain a bit later why I have done this. Okay, so we've got that. So at the moment we have this. Um, what I'm just going to go ahead and do is I'm going to copy and paste this down. So make sure you grab from TR from and TR. I'm going to paste that down. And then I'm going to say um, choose a username. And obviously I'm going to change this to username. And I'm going to paste that again. I'm going to say choose a password. Uh, now this instead of text is going to be password just to secure anyone looking over our user's shoulder or any screen capture software that's being used to sort of infiltrate someone's computer. Um, the next one down, I've just I've just copied and pasted this again. It's going to be repeat a password or repeat your password. Password. And again, password. And this can't be um, this can't be set to password again. So I'm just going to set this to repeat password. We're going to use this to compare the passwords once they've been submitted to see if the user's made any mistakes or not. And the no, we don't actually need another field. That's the last one. Um, one thing we do need is the date, but I'm going to do that when I um, submit the form. Okay, so uh, this is our uh, form created. Let's go back and refresh. Okay, so we've got, you can see how this is evened out in a column. That's why I've used a table. Um, oh, that's it. We need a submit button. So underneath our table, I'm going to create a paragraph break. And my input type here is going to be submit. My name is going to be submit because we need to check for that existence and the value is just going to be register and let's refresh and there we are and you can see that the password fields have uh, been blanked out and our full name and our choose our username is uh, there for the user to type their values in. Okay now I'm running slightly short of time so I'm going to stop the tutorial here. Um, if you're following this uh, step by step make sure you've got your form written out and give it a go, design the form as you wish. I mean, I wish I had enough time to do it, but I don't. So go ahead, uh, create your form as you want. Um, do anything you want to it. Change these labels. Um, just make sure you've got your boxes and your register. And in the next part, we're going to talk about checking that the user's typed each one of these required fields in. Uh, we're going to compare the passwords to see if they match. I mean, if you say them two passwords, um, these don't match because they're a different character length, meaning that the user can't register because they might have made a mistake. And I'm sure, I'm sure, the majority of you watching have registered at some point, and you've had to type your password in again. Um, we're also going to encrypt our passwords, and we're going to remove any dangerous or any potentially dangerous HTML tags from each form, just to have a bit of added security to your registration form. Okay, so I'll see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.